Hey everybody, there it's Otaku Mu, Otaku Mu, back for another terrible tutorial. No takes, no editing, so here we go. Today in this tutorial, we're just gonna be drawing a plain old head. This is just to get you familiar with the proper head placements, well, proper things that go on the head and where everything should go. So first off, for head, we wanna start with a circle. We're going to cut this circle two directions, vertical and horizontal, not in that order. I want to make sure we connect this line. By the way, I'm just going to be winging this video, so no script, no takes, not even like a certain kind of idea in my mind. Whatever I just think of is how it's going to be. I don't even know how, like what kind of image or what kind of character I'm gonna be making and just hopefully something simple with my lines this line is not straight that's very important do not create a straight line with that you want to create somewhat of a tilted line right there and then you want it to meet into the chin area the more rounded out, the more childlike it will be. Longer, more this. Uh, the more longer it is, the look a lot more like a male character, and your female characters will not really ever have that kind of masculine looking like a uh, face like the uh, the elongated stuff that you see. Zoom in for some more detail. Right over here jawline that's where you'll find your mouth now let's create an interesting emotion I guess we'll create something that's talking mouth nose usually found there on this area I base everything off from where I put my mouth we'll make it some more animated character so we'll put the eyes down here this is where this whole area, that's where we want to keep the forehead area. That's The forehead's huge. This one thing to know about manga. Placing our eyes at the ends somewhat. Don't judge me. Okay, fine, I'll change. The sides of our mouth. Eyelids coming through. Then again, will this be an eyelash? Because these are whatever. No takes. Eyebrows. Just slowly putting them in there. If you actually measure, then your actual cheekbones would line up, unlike mine. Right now, we're going to do the ears. Just do it quick. Depending on like how like your character's kind of angled, we'll depend on like that what kind of like how low the ears are i think it's usually if it's looking up they usually have their ears down a little bit lower than like here the ears should be peaking up a little bit like on the same kind of level as the eyes so we just take our pencil oops that was way too sharp kind of a quick time to just like turn in and out gives us the proper ear shape that really works well if you're right-handed. Left-handed, not so much. It's going to be really oddly more shaped. See? I kind of take a little bit slower when I'm doing it on the left ear. Just try your best to imitate what you did on the right. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of those eyebrows. Add some emotion to this character. One eyebrow up, one eyebrow down. It's a good confused face. Good too, because be, uh, character's going to be confused by the time I get done. Especially with his hair. Okay, let's just... 
give the bare bones just a just a proper dome of hair just right there just kind of pretty much sketching just like some basic hair I have really no idea what I'm doing okay I'm dashing some hair down I guess it's spiky spike it up at the top I don't fabricate my own hair And for a good reason too. But I guess this could look a lot worse. Yeah, this could look a lot worse. I guess. I suppose I should clean this up though, because this looks kind of muddy, like really a lot of money. There, it's all somewhat clean now. I'm going to clean this up some more, we just to be able to erase the whole thing. At this point, go back through a pencil, keep some of the lines, ignore the ones I don't. I think I'll give my character a little bit a cooler kind of look if I just just straight up just uh, make his eyes all black. I kind of like that. I guess it just kind of makes your character look kind of hazy. But that's what I'm going with on this one. I guess if you want, you can give him a tongue. Just blacken in that area. His face is kind of rounded out, so I'm assuming right now he's a child. See, line not straight at all, which is good. Here we get that in there. This is somewhat of a kind of like a really heavy manga style, so I don't think like you need to put all the folds of the hair. Just be as light as less detail as possible if your character is really super cartoony like mine, which I'm assuming it's gonna be, since you've been following along this whole time. I'm just gonna so I'm basically just gonna put the bare bones in. Boy, that green is really powerful right there. Yeah, don't do what I'm doing. Do not go over the hair line so many times over like that. You'll make your character look kind of screwy if you do that. I'm going to ignore that. I don't really like that at all. I'm going to give him like a little crown crown at the top. I don't know what I'm thinking. I must be thinking about Bomb Bomb from Mario or something. Here it comes out. Goes back in. This kid's got some sprock ears or something. Alright, here's a cool ear tip. Less detail, just go bam, bam, bam. That gives you some of the proper, something you just should expect in ears. Bare minimum right here. 
and do not forget those eyebrows. One eyebrow up. And another one down. Darken in with the hair for some added effect. Personally, right now, my character kind of looks like a vegetable. Must be, do all, must be due to all the green I've been using. Uh, get rid of that and put it back in because it looks weird. A good way to line up your nose, if you're ever doing any other kind of uh, manga drawing, just create an invisible line. It just kind of leads for your nose to curve right into that, just to line up with your eye. That's if you're doing a different kind, though. Alright, that's going to wrap up this tutorial video. I hope it was somewhat helpful for you, all you guys. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Goodbye.